Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing amazing. So as you will have seen from the title, solo day today. I don't have the boys, they're at their dad's. If you don't know, I am a single mom of three boys. I've been a single mom for probably about three years now, something like that. And um, it takes a little while to get used to the time on your own without the kids, but I can't lie, and I love the kids to death. It's been half term though, two weeks at home of just pure rain outside as well which has made it really difficult to do anything but I really do quite enjoy my days sometimes where I can have a real solo date day I guess. I like a day by myself, I do. And as hard as it is when they're not here, like when you're not tucking them into bed and things like that, it is really nice to get that bit of me time. So I do make the most of my days when I don't have them. So yeah, I am looking forward to today and we're getting to that time of year when the sun's starting to shine. I've had my morning coffee, I've got myself ready in complete silence in the house and there's a few things I want to do today. I want to go out and have a little look around the shops. I want to get myself some, a couple of beauty things I think. Like I'm going to have a bit of a pamper tonight. I think that would be quite, quite nice to have a nice bubble bath. I need to like pluck my eyebrows and do things like that and paint my nails. Um, I also need to put on some more false nails. Maybe I'll do that tonight but I've been doing so much painting in the garden that I've not wanted to do much with my nails because I don't want to wreck them. But yeah I'm going to bake some cookies. I'm gonna have a nice meal to myself tonight. I'm gonna have a little walk with the dog if it stays sunny anyway. I just plan to have a really simple but lovely, lovely day. Also, I thought today would be a good time whilst the house is nice and quiet and I've got a bit of time to do a little bit of a Q&A, which I've not done for forever, like the longest time. So I did an Instagram story last night and just asked people to send over any questions that they have um that i can go through and answer so i thought i would do that now there was there's quite a um a running theme with a lot of the questions that's asking about my dating status but we will get to that in a minute i cannot believe how nice people are sometimes like social media is one of them things where you really can see how ugly the human race can be with some of the things and vicious things that people can say and I see that just across well everyone sees that don't they I think we're doing YouTube it's one of them things where I just cannot believe how lovely some people are just to be nice like people so there's some really great people out there and you lot are always so lovely and leave nice comments and it's really nice some of the things that you've said and just saying that you like my videos and things and yeah it's really it's been really nice so thank you I get asked quite a lot um, there's a few of these that um, if I drive. I had said about my driving status in a really old video I think I've probably not mentioned it since. I have a driving license. I can drive but I don't. Yeah I passed my driving test years ago and I hated it and I never enjoyed it. I never wanted to do it like I just found it really stressful. I always found it made me just so crazy anxious and the worst thing I did really was just stop driving once I stopped I've just not picked it back up again and it's a bit of a it's been such a long time now where I've not driven that the thought of it is a bit scary so I can drive I don't drive I know it is crazy to a lot of people to think like I've got a driving license and I don't use it but it doesn't feel like something that hinders me particularly occasionally it does I obviously think there is times when it'd be really convenient when if I drove but I absolutely love walking I'm not bothered about having to walk places I find that really enjoyable I find it really good for my mental health like things like even if I did drive I would still walk the kids to school because I just think it's so it's just so good so yeah that's my that's the current status on my driving. It did take me a while to pass as well because I was probably a much more timid person back then as well. I'm much more confident now, I think. But I, um, when I passed, I thought, I am not good enough to be driving. So you shouldn't be driving, that kind of attitude. So I just thought, I'm not doing this now. But yeah, I'll change it one day, one thing at a time. There's quite a few questions about co-parenting, like if me and my ex um have a good relationship how is it going after a couple of years all of that sort of thing with co-parenting i mean this is always a subject that i think like because i'm talking about somebody else like i'm very careful and it's the boy's dad and it's yeah it's just a subject that i um i don't want to touch too much on like i say it's been about three years that we've been separated it's got so much easier 
I think it takes time, it definitely takes time um, to get in that routine, to get used to it. We get on okay, I'm not going to say that we're like best friends, <laughs> because we're not, but we can talk on the phone, which we do often, we'll talk about the kids' behaviour, just their everyday needs. But I'm never going to assume that there's not going to be maybe things that could come up in the future that we might not agree on, because it's always difficult. If you parent completely differently to the other parent as well, which me and my ex definitely do, we definitely have completely different parenting styles styles but I mean you just do your best like any other single mum out there like you're doing your best and I think if I could tell myself back then like that it's gonna be fine and everything will work itself out because it's really scary when you separate and then you have to completely change how you parent your children that's really terrifying like it really scared me what if they don't want to spend as much time at home and things like you know like all of that really scared me at first and now i just want to say to anybody that's like going through something similar like it does all work out my boys absolutely adore me and my company on my own like i haven't needed to have somebody else to sort of make them feel like they're in a family unit we are the best little team like everybody knows what they're doing the routine is there it's, i mean that's the most important thing with anything isn't it just routine it's really important for them to know that me and him can communicate and get along so no matter what I think I will always try to be the bigger person to make sure that the boys can see me and him getting along because it's important to them. So yeah as far as the co-parenting goes it all goes fairly smoothly with the odd hiccup along the way and the odd disagreement but nowhere near as many as when we were married. <laughs> Right, we're going to get onto the subject of dating because that is the most commonly asked question about my relationship status. If I am seeing anybody, if I am dating, if I've tried dating apps. I am not currently seeing anyone. Um, I have done over the time that I have been single. I have dated a little bit. I think I have sort of shared bits before about me dating. But yeah, things don't always work out, do they? And that is absolutely fine. I love being single. I love time on my own. And yes... Dating apps are an absolute nightmare for uh, the people that ask me that about dating apps. They're not the most um, enjoyable experience sometimes, but my God, do they give me and my friends a good laugh. Um, it's some of the very interesting people that you can get on them. Some men are just, and I'm sure some women are as well on the on the on the men side of things, but some men are just like yeah, just no um, just no boundaries. <laughs> I guess is the way I would put it. But I would quite like to meet somebody, I think, in the future. It's something that I think about whether I'll meet somebody, whether, you know, I'll end up getting married again. Like, there's all those questions. I've got this app on my phone, actually. It's called Yoda. And it's an app that can give you personalised astrology readings based on your birth chart. So on the app, you have access to over 200 professional astrologers 24-7. And you can ask it, like, literally anything it also does give you like suggested subjects that you can ask it so any subjects surrounding love and marriage karma and destiny wealth and fortune work and education you know like if you're thinking about changing jobs or something like that or if you're thinking of having another baby maybe you just want to ask for some advice on something like that i find it really interesting so i have been on asking about my dating life i asked the experts if i'm going to be in a new relationship soon and one of the astrologers got back to me with a very detailed answer really surprised about some of the things that it said so i'll leave it up on the screen so you can have a read through it but according to yoda i will have have a potential partner in July or maybe November time for Christmas and it all sounds very positive what I found interesting as well is that it said that I could have faced some issues in my love life during 2020 and 2021 which is very interesting because that's basically the time that my marriage um, ended so I thought that was quite interesting and yeah I can obviously go on to ask more details if I have a person in mind all of these things you can explore and ask but i am looking forward to meeting this mr romantic charming and charismatic person yeah i'm i love it i find it really interesting i also love that you get a daily horoscope update as well just the fact that it covers all subjects you can ask whatever you like um, and it takes just a short time for somebody to get back to you so 
it's a really good one for you know when you just want a little bit of pointing in the right direction maybe also it's a very easy app to use so if you're interested in horoscopes or astrology then yeah it's a dead easy app to navigate so if you fancy having a look at yoda asking it some questions then you can click the link in my description box down below or scan this qr code and the hashtag carly elizabeth will get you one free question on the yoda app but yeah roll on july <laughs> for mr right oh somebody asked me would i have liked a daughter a lot of people ask this because of because i've got three boys i definitely don't plan to have any more i think i had toby when i was 22 so the majority of my 20s were spent having babies and i was an army wife as well most of the time quite isolated from anyone just surrounded by babies which you know i love the fact that i had them that close together they obviously literally all two years between them and i think there's always benefits and cons to doing it either way whether you've got a bigger age gap or a smaller age gap there's always some benefits to either one um but for me i'm glad that i had them all close together but it was it did mean that the majority of my 20s was spent purely changing nappies and babies and I definitely feel like now I'm in my 30s, I'm 35 now, I can't imagine going back to the baby stage again because there's just so many places I want to take the kids, I want to be on holiday all the time with them and I want to do things and they're at an age now where we can have a proper laugh doing certain days out so I can't imagine having any more but I definitely did want a girl, probably more so when... I was first pregnant and I remember, you know when you get pregnant and then people are like, they predict what you're having and so many people when I was pregnant with Toby told me that I was going to have a girl. So I just imagined, and I imagined myself as a girl mum because I'm quite girly, but having Toby just really changed my perspective on it because boys are just the sweetest in my experience i just thought god these little boys just love me so much and i just felt so, just it was it's just it's the most amazing feeling ever and i know that when i was pregnant with dylan i thought it would be quite nice for him to have this younger brother that's close in age to him and they you know can be like best mates i think it'll always be one of those things that would be interesting to know what i would be like i've got friends who have got little girls and um i get a little bit jealous in a way when it comes to uh, the clothing the toys like because there's so many you relive it don't you through your child and i can be thinking oh my gosh i would love to be getting all the barbies out um <laughs> all of that yeah so that's the only part of it where i think oh, it'd be quite nice to have a little girl but I might have loads of granddaughters yet you never know i do really love being a boy mum though they are so much fun so yeah i wouldn't change anything at all obviously questions about holidays if i've got any holidays booked not right now however really hoping to would absolutely love to take the boys to disneyland that is on the list just so many places i want to take them it's just cost in it it's just so flipping expensive holidays i'd love to do center parks again as well but we all know the price of them um when it's not a school week it's just insane but my boys love centre parks like they really really love love it and i do as well i just wish it was a little bit cheaper um but yeah disneyland is on the cards i'd quite like to go away for a few days as well like on the days when i don't have the boys so anything that anything i book or anything like i will film it because it's just really fun to film holidays and to do the packing and all of that like i love all of that so if i do go away i will be sharing it all i'm sure maybe i'll be going away with mr july who knows? <laughs> Somebody asked me what hair curlers I use. I have Foxy Lux extensions and I actually bought the hair curler that Foxy Lux does. Um, and I really like it, just a curling wand. So yeah, that's the one I use. Oh, somebody asked me what my favourite food and alcoholic drink is. Food wise, to be honest, if you just give me a selection of food, that's what makes me happy. Like lots of little picky bits. Tapas is my favorite way to eat i love a lot of italian food i love pizza i love risotto but yeah if you put everything in small portions and then loads of it a buffet really is my ideal if i go somewhere and there's a buffet i'm happy alcohol wise i'm really not a big drinker i hardly ever drink like really really rare but if i do have a drink i don't mind i don't mind a glass of prosecco i like flavored cider is probably normally the thing that i would go for you know like um an old mount or a cordlick 
that's like the flavoured fruity ciders, things that taste not very alcoholy is what I like. And I don't mind a beer, quite like a Budweiser if it's cold. So that sort of thing, but I'm not a big drinker at all. It's, it's never something that I ever really crave unless I'm out and feel like having a couple of drinks, but I'm never out, so. <laughs> not very often I have a drink. Somebody said about um, what gives me the motivation to deep clean and get it all done and saying that they really struggle. So have I got any tips? I mean um, the motivation to deep clean I think the only motivation that cleaning really mainly get, I mean I like things clean but I, I get quite anxious so if the house is a mess I can tell that that makes that worse for me. So the first thing I do when I'm feeling a little bit anxious is think right have a tidy up. Just have a tidy up first because that's what I need for like a clear mind. But I've got three boys. The house is not tidy very often. Like it doesn't last. It's tidy when they're not here. I'm quite a chaotic and messy person generally when I'm doing things. So don't be fooled. Obviously I do speed cleaning videos because it's motivation for people. And you know, it's the kind of video that I like watching as well. But it's not all the time. It's not like my house is, re my house is a tip at the minute. <laughs> There's loads I need to do. But yeah, I think knowing that my mind is a little bit clearer when it's tidy that motivates me sometimes do you know what i do as well you know like if you can't be bothered to clean if i just sort of tell myself you know, you know there's always that joke about you never clean as quick as when you think somebody's coming over so sometimes i just think well how do i want the house to look if somebody was going to come around in 10 minutes and i do just like a quick power tidy up like that and then that's what i sort of, tell myself, sort of pretend someone's going to come around and think how would I want the house to be if somebody knocked on the door right now? So that sort of gives me a little bit of motion, motivation in a weird way. Oh, and I was asked about my false eyelashes as well, which I haven't worn. I used to wear them all the time. I don't wear them that often anymore. Um, but I will link down below the ones that I like. Well, I like a few, but what I tend to do is, well, when I was wearing them all the time, I'd buy these ones from Amazon that came as like a six pack or something. Um, which lasted ages. And then I would buy like a fancier pair for if I was going out or anything. I'll link those below so obviously the the amazon ones that i've worn a lot or that you might see me wearing um and then i did get some tatty lash ones i think they were maybe um that i wore not long ago when i went out for a meal and i love them so i'll link them down below as well but i like a quite more full-on look and i also like any that are a bit more cat eye like that are more um fluffy on this on the outside because my eyes are quite round so i quite like to elongate them with like the cat eye eyelashes but yeah i'm gonna leave the questions there for now because i need to get out it looks like it's gonna rain now this is just so frustrating but i want to get out do a bit of shopping and yeah when i come back i'll show you what i've got and i can have a nice pamper tonight i'm also gonna get some chocolate so that i can make some chocolate chip cookies because i'm just craving them i need to get to the shops before it rains <laughs> not that i got loads of stuff but i'll show what i got a little bit later but i'm gonna make these chocolate chip cookies now 
So I've got dairy milk, that is just the best in these cookies. Really simple ingredients for it as well. It's no egg, uh, it's literally brown sugar. I mean, I've got demerara. I probably should be using soft brown, but I don't really know the difference to be honest, but that'll be fine, that'll work. Self-raising flour, butter, and a bit of syrup. Also, I'm annoyed because I've just got back and I ordered myself some sushi, thinking that's what I could have for tea. But I got this sushi, but I also ordered a poke bowl, poke bowl even, and it was out of stock. So I've only got this bit of sushi to go off. So looks like I'll be filling up on cookies for the rest of my tea. <laughs> but yeah, at least I did get that. I love a bit of sushi. But yeah, let's make some nice, delicious chocolatey cookies. denying it these are the best cookies ever i will leave the recipe down below it is so simple to follow obviously as you've just seen it doesn't take very long at all either i've just tried one delicious and word has got round in my family that there is cookies so i'm going to take some to my sister and my nephews obviously got to share the love but i will be back and i'll show the things that i bought earlier and probably run myself a nice bubble bath with a cookie on the side <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i cannot look at another cookie again for a long time. I've had my fill of cookies tonight. Um, they went down a treat though. I will leave the recipe down below. It is definitely a really good cookie recipe. And I love the fact that it doesn't have eggs in it or anything either. So it's good for anybody that can't have eggs, which Archie can't in a lot of things. So they're good for him. I'm gonna go through the things that I bought today. So I'm gonna start off with a couple of bath bombs that I got from Lush because I cannot go into Lush without coming out of, with a bath bomb. There's a lot of things in Lush actually that like I'm not that bothered about. If I go in with my sister, she is like a Lush maniac. She loves everything. <laughs> and she knows like all of the products. I am just one of those basic people that just likes to get a nice bath bomb. So I've got a couple, I can't remember, what did I get now? I got this one. I didn't get her to put labels on them either because I thought I don't need labels, but I don't actually know what they're called. I got this one. It smells so nice. It's got all like dried petals in it. It's just a heart shaped one, so hopefully, I'll have all nice little petally bits floating around my bath because I'm going to have a nice pamper after this. So, I'm either going to use this one or this one that's a bit more fun. The unicorn poop. I know it was called that. I can remember the name of that one. Or I'll save that for um, one of the kids to use or like halve it maybe. And let Dil Toby ne never cares about a bath bomb, but Dylan and Archie like a bath bomb. So maybe I'll cut that in half and save that one for them because I'll probably enjoy it. Or I'll just get another one by then. Maybe I want a unicorn bath for myself tonight. So yeah, those are the two that I got, they also do um, a whole Shrek range now that I spotted whilst I was in there, but it's online exclusive, but they have the cutest bath bombs. We've got like a little gingerbread man one. I, I did spray the body spray on myself though, and I wasn't keen, it was quite limey, but the bath bombs looked really good. But yeah, they're just an online exclusive, so I couldn't get one of them. And then I got some bits from Home Bargains, so I thought I'd get myself some like nice bits for having a pamper. So I got one of the, um, which I showed in my video, I got one of the Bath & Body Microfiber Body Wraps. These would be quite nice in a gift, wouldn't they? can't remember how much it was now because I don't know where I've put my receipt, but this then the um hair turban the, all of these things they had a few other things as well like a foot pumice thing all in this range and something else this would be a really nice little hamper gift me and my hamper gifts it's all i ever say but it's all <laughs> i do think about these things a lot for like a pamper a pamper night because i got these as well which i was really pleased to see in home bargains because i love this um treacle moon 
I get this in my Tesco shop sometimes, like the um, bubble baths. So I thought I'd get some of the Epsom bath salts. Nice reusable pot as well. I can just fill that up with some cheaper salts afterwards and then just keep keep them in there because they do like massive bags of Epsom salts as well in home bargains for really inexpensive. So I'm definitely going to keep that to keep using and having it in the bathroom. Creamy sheer butterfly. It just sounds really luxurious and nice. Again, gift idea. Just love it. Did I get anything else from Home Bargains? Also got some Dove Nourishing Body Wash. Just because I really like the smell of this. I think it is really strong scented. I also went into Superdrug, which I didn't film, but I did get some bits from there. Has anybody tried this before? I'm interested to try it. This effing, I think that would be how you say it, fake tan. I got the um, dark, ultra dark one, but I've never used it. And I love trying out a new tan. I normally get... Which one is it I normally get? I think it's a Bondi Sands one. But I thought I'd give this a go. It was on offer as well. It had some money off. But what I'll probably do is like exfoliate and everything tonight and then fake tan tomorrow. So I'll try it out tomorrow, but I'm going to like scrub any old tan off. If I've got any on me. My hands are a different colour to my face. Um, that's not really a sign that tan is due. <laughs> um, I got some of this as well, illuminating body lotion. If it does give a little glow, I love that, especially for the warmer days. Oh yeah, it does. That's nice. Don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it has got a little bit of a shimmer. Smells lovely as well. Vitamin E skincare. By Superdrug, it's a Superdrug one. It's one of those things I can get really lazy with um, body lotions and things, but always so glad when I'm consistent with it because it obviously makes a huge difference and I get quite dry skin on my legs and yeah, I'm... I'm trying to be a little bit more disciplined with body lotions and making sure that I moisturise, um, especially when it comes to the weather of wearing dresses and shorts and things. I got a CeraVe facial moisturising lotion as well, which I love this. I find this really good. I can definitely, like my skin just looks a little bit brighter once I put this on. It does a really good job of moisturising. I love CeraVe though. I've got the, um, the face washes, like I find it quite a good one on my skin um, and I don't think it's too expensive either. They normally got an offer on as well in Superdrug, like two for one or something. But I've got one of these as well, which would be again good for the hamper, just to hold all of this hair back. When I am taking my makeup off, and <laughs> it was funny actually because as soon as I got in, Rudy normally assumes that there'll be something in the bag for him and he goes through the bag and he really thought this was something that I bought for him. And he kept sneaking out of the bag and I kept putting it back in and was like, that's not yours. And yeah, I saw him keep taking it away, thinking that he was thinking it was a toy. And finally realised after a few times of me going, that isn't yours, that it wasn't for him to chew up. I also got myself this, which I'll use tonight, a purifying pink clay face mask. Again, perfect for putting in a hamper. It was dead inexpensive, like less than a quid. They had absolutely loads in there as well. Loads of choice. So we shall give that a go tonight. Rose, clay and dragon's blood for all skin types. I haven't done a face mask for ages. So that'd be nice for some line in the bath. Got some new tweezers as well, which isn't particularly exciting, but I just wanted to get a new pair because it's been a while since I bought a new pair of tweezers. Um, I could do with going over these eyebrows, that's for sure. Something I forget about quite often until I look in the mirror after ages and go, oh yeah. You need to do your eyebrows. <laughs> I also got this because I feel like this is a really good nail varnish colour for spring and summer. I did say earlier that I need to do my nails. I just want to get all of like the heavy duty stuff done outside with all the painting and things for, before I have nice nails, um, nice done nails because I know I'll just wreck them at the minute. But yeah, I got some of this Sally Hansen Insta Dry Pink Nail Varnish which I will put on my toes because my toenails need painting. Um, I need to do myself a little pedicure obviously manicure as well when I'm done doing all my bits outside. I love that colour, proper Barbie pink and I think it just goes nice with like loads of spring colours and like light denim if I've got light denim jeans on and sliders on my toes so I love that colour. Also on the days when I need a little bit of colour um, and I haven't done my fake tan, this Sally Hansen's airbrush i love i don't just use it on my legs even though that's what it's it says it's like makeup again really good for just keeping this in for spring and summer if the legs are going to be on show and i like the medium shade in this and then i've just got some more nail glue because i feel like i'm running out of that if i do put some 
press on nails on. Just got this as a backup if I don't have enough left in the bottle I've already got. It feels like it's been a very long day to be honest. So I'm gonna go and run myself a nice bath, chuck a bath bomb in and just relax a little bit before I go to sleep. brings us to the end of today's video guys i really hope that you enjoyed it do give it a big thumbs up if you did and come back again for my next one bye everyone